guys it's Clara welcome back to my channel this video is our grocery haul for the week from Aldi in addition to our meal plan stay tuned So it has been a really, really long time since I've done one of these videos. I used to do weekly hauls from Aldi in addition to Whole30 meal plans. Since it's a new year, I thought I would start up these videos again just to see how it goes. Lately, we've been trying again to eat more Whole30-like. We will still occasionally have um, some non-compliant kinds of stuff, but for the most part, we're trying to incorporate more vegetables and more fruits. I bought a couple boxes of their organic chicken broth. They don't always have this um, so I bought an extra box just in case also the organic unsweetened applesauce this is super super delicious this is whole 30 compliant because there isn't any added um, sugar some celery some green beans these were 99 cents on special so we'll have to eat those tonight bought a bag of red grapes a head of cauliflower I always always buy the Brussels sprouts if they look good some broccoli crowns, a couple of avocados, which were on sale for 99 cents each, a couple bags of carrots, some bananas. Finally, the regular bananas looked green today. Usually they don't, and I have to buy the organic because they look better usually. Some yellow onions, some butter. I bought this. I love their middle aisle section of home stuff and educational stuff and toys. Oh, it's amazing usually. <laughs> um, this one is the mathematics lab for kids three and over. I have not tried this obviously. Um, but yeah, we're doing some basic addition and subtraction. So I thought I would try this with my daughter to see if she likes it. And I did want to mention, I bought this at Aldi way back when I think, and she's liking it. Uh, what's nice too is that uh, if there is a number that coincides with more than one um, puzzle, it's still a good fit. So the fit is according to the number, um, which is nice because that's not always the case. Also, I bought this heating pad. This was $12.99 and I have not tried it, but somebody in line behind me said this was pretty good. So I'm going to be using this for lower back pain, most likely. Uh, also bought some cocktail sauce. We are out, so I bought an extra bottle. Um, a couple of cases of the Bellevue. Uh, this is the sparkling water, unsweetened in the grapefruit and the lime. I still like that kind of stuff. <laughs> still been drinking that stuff. Three dozen eggs, the cage-free kind. I think these are like $2.29 at Aldi, which is pretty good. Also some never any chicken breast. That's uh, deli meat. And I just bought um, just not that much uh, meat this week. So a thing of organic ground beef. I really, really, really wish that they had like um, beef for stew in the organic kind, but as far as I can tell, they don't, at least at my Aldi. And then the um, organic chicken breast. Some cheese also, some sharp cheddar. And I love, love the specially selected brand. I think it's very close um, to the private selection brand at Kroger. Um, some whole cashews, so good. And then for mom's group, our meeting next week, I bought these that I'll bring there. So the classic almond biscotti cookies, and then this whole set of deliciousness cookie assortment. Those look so good. So <laughs> I have to kind of hide those because they're not for us. They're for mom's group. And I don't want anybody in the house to open them accidentally. So the meal plan is ridiculously simple. I try to keep meals really easy. Otherwise I won't stick to the plan. I'll just look at something complicated on the board and think, eh, I don't want to do it. And then I'll we'll order takeout or something. So I say formulate meal plans that fit your family the best and fit what you really can manage to do. Um, some people can cook all their meals on one day. I used to be able to do that. Others, they must cook it every night. Whatever works for you, right? So tonight we're going to have meatballs. I'm gonna use that ground beef for that. And these meatballs tend to be pretty soft because I kind of bulk it up with tons of veggies. That one pound of meat is not gonna get very far with meatballs. So I put lots and lots of chopped carrots in there. Um, I think I have a zucchini in the refrigerator, a little bit of celery, but not too much because then it gets really watery. Uh, and then alongside that, we'll have the green beans. We'll continue with the green beans as a side tomorrow. And 
I'll use a couple or three of those breasts to make a lemon chicken, really easy. Um, there's a Tuscany broth that Dollar Tree used to have that's really, really good with that. You can also use a little bit of cream if you have that. Wednesday, we'll have roasted cauliflower with a side of chicken vegetable soup. I'll save one of those chicken breasts um, to boil for that. And then Thursday, we'll continue with the soup and do roasted Brussels sprouts, my favorite. And then Friday and Saturday, we'll do some deviled eggs, uh, which my daughter does like. And Friday will be so simple. I try to keep Friday the easiest meal ever because I get tired and I just get really, really lazy that day. So deviled eggs, not hard to do, shrimp cocktail uh, along with that, so simple. Um, and then Saturday, continue with that, uh, the eggs, and then do apple cranberry salads. So I take gala apples, I take the dried cranberries from uh, Dollar Tree, I put that in with a white balsamic vinaigrette with some romaine, so good, like my favorite, one of my favorites. And then Sunday we'll probably have uh, buffalo wild wings along with those salads. All right, so that is it for this week's Ridiculously Easy Meal Plan and Grocery Haul. As always, or as used to be, let me know what recipes you've been loving lately. Anything simple, especially, that you find is so fast to do. Uh, I have, I really have not been using our crock pot very much, so I've been thinking about it lately, and with the cold weather, um, I might want to break it out and start to do some stuff in the crock pot. So if you have favorite crock pot recipes especially, let me know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.